It's my understanding that there is a war going on right now. Am I am I right in this? Well, actually, there are two wars. Two right now. wars? We're in the midst of two wars. Huh. All the there is a subliminal interformational war occurring now to possess your soul, to use your mind as their own wormhole for interdimensional shape-shifting hordes. That dialectic good and evil polarity of old that enslaved mankind to die-cast gold plow the fields to reap and sow, to bloody the soil with violent turmoil, to this above all to do what we're told, to keep the beat of the drum as we row, grinding our grist of flour kneading their dough, never knowing why and never wanting to know. Mankind is the measure between the extremes of matter and energy. We are the midpoint median and mean, below us are quanta, above us astronomy. Intergalactic filaments, pulsing tachyonic gravity, electrochemicals crossing axon dendrite gaps, bipolar black holes at the cores of spiral galaxies, neurogenesis bypassing any damaged synapse. Behind us we leave a wake of altered fates, yet we are forever trapped inside the present moment. The future remains an uncollapsed waveform, entropic, tides drawing us toward a predestined event, our death. Within all that has a beginning, there exists a key deciphering its end. As the tree's template nests within each living seed, so too may we one day attain even beyond light speed. Dwelling in baby universes inside gravitational singularities, will humanity survive as souls to evolve into hyperspace, harnessing wormholes to bend the continuum's elements and outlive the present stellar-dominated cosmic phase? Will we still even be human then? For one who battles monsters must take care that they do not become a monster too. For when you stare long into the abyss, the abyss stares long back into you. How human are we even now when among us roam? Homunculi remote controlled by rebel angel jinn, whispering demonic suggestions to them accursed. Invisible self-defeatist psychic vampirism at its worst. For generation after generation, there have been abductions by Lily to Oilalin, the baby snatching night hag demons from Sumero Acadia, dating back some four and a half millennia, or by fairies in European forests, or nowadays by the alien greys. For generation after generation, through their subtle influencing, this single cult under many names has pushed some into successes while toppling others at a whim playing gods for fools instead, thinking there'd never be karmic consequences. How human have we ever been? Our peak as a species may have happened even before the agrarian revolution. The ability to wield many ton megaliths and erect pyramids has certainly been lost to us for at least two aeons. If peak humanity truly did occur in ancient Atlantis, did they contact our future and or aliens on other planets? And why in between the Mesopotamian floods in this very moment have these alien future gods seemingly abandoned us? Or is their ancient plan programmed in so elementally that it is as inevitable as an asteroid's trajectory, as unalterable as death being all our single destiny, as inescapable as one's own already ghostly mortality? So we fight a war on two fronts, one to either side of us, torn between on the one hand the solid material sciences and on the other hallucinated spiritual drug-induced nonsense, struggling to regain our own innermost innocence.